Well, hello, my fabulous fifth graders. I know you're missing me terribly during this winter break, and I wanted to make this video for you guys so we can do a little bit of practice with our adding and subtracting together in a fun way. So this winter break while you are at home, maybe you are baking some things. I know I like to bake, so I am going to make gingerbread here. Now, I'm going to gather some ingredients. Yeah, that's a lot, right? And when I'm making this, I gotta put it all in my bowl, right? But I got a couple of bowls to choose from. So, hmm, I wanna know what size and how much all of this stuff is going to take up. How much space. So, I am going to be adding, right? Now, uh, make sure you have paper, pencil, so you can do this with me. If you don't have a place value chart, um, that's okay. We can just use regular paper and I'm gonna show you how to line up your numbers to make sure we don't have any errors. But I wanted to use this place value chart to really show where the digits go to help us make sure that we are doing this properly. So are you ready to go? You got your first problem written out? What are we doing here? It says that we need to add up our dry ingredients. We have six, or, ooh, hmm, what do we have there? 268 and 79 grams of flour, 50 and 4 tenths grams of brown sugar. Okay, start the bigger number and put it on our chart. I'm just going to line it up. I have that, looks good. Okay, now I'm going to put in my 50 and 4 tenths. What? That's not right. What is that? That's 504. Hmm, let's try that again. Let's see, uh, is that, no. I lined up my numbers, not place values. Oh, okay. So let's make sure we line up our place values. So this is 50 and 4 tenths. Let's try this one more time. And there we go, now we're lined up. Hmm, so if you have a piece of paper and you have your number written down, Remember, line up your decimals, okay? Lining up your decimals and you write it out. Okay, you got it? Is it written out correctly? Yeah? Hmm, what could we do? It looks a little weird, right? Our number looks a little weird. I like to have numbers that match. And what I mean is, I like to have the same number of place values behind, or same number of digits behind each place value. Let me say that correctly. So here we had 79 and the four tenths. I want to put a zero here. It just says that I have zero hundredths, but I'm making sure that each of the place values has a digit after the decimal point. So um, I'm not putting the zero in front of the five here. I could, but you guys are pretty good about adding whole numbers. So I'm not going to um, go in that direction even though it'd be fine, it just says I have zero hundreds here, right? Let's continue. So I'm going to add up, remember, I'm going to start the smallest place value first. And did you have your number? You got your answer? You can pause uh, to get yours always, okay, throughout this. So let's check. Yep, nine and zero, started off pretty easy, right? Okay, but now I have my seven and four and that is 11, so I put my one and carry my one over. That's why I left this nice little space at the top here. So now I have my one and eight, good. And then I don't have anything to carry over here, so I'm just going to add my next place values together and my six and five, and that is 11. Carry the one, now I have um, one and two hundreds, and that's 319 and 19 hundreds. It's an interesting number. Okay, let's look at the next problem. Pause, write it out, solve it, then return, and check your answer, okay? Go ahead, it's okay, pause. I'll wait, I'm here. You got it? All right, did you line up your numbers correctly? Good, all right, now we're just gonna add them together just like before. Start in the hundreds place value. I have four hundreds plus nine hundreds right? And that gives me 
13 hundredths, which is 1 tenth and 3 hundredths. So then I add those together and we get 4. Then our 1's, 12, and our 10. So I have 1, 10, 2, and 6, and we have 92 and 43 hundredths. Excellent. Good job. Now let's put these two sums together. All right. Again, pause, answer, return. Okay. Do you have an answer? Then pause again. Or go ahead. All right. Let's check it. So we got nine and three hundredths. So we have twelve hundredths, right? Carry that one. Now I have my tenths. I'm adding them all up. Yep. Six and nine, two. That's eleven. And then our tens, another eleven. And then one and three hundred. Is that the answer you got? I hope so. Looks good. Okay, so our answer is 411 and 62 hundredths. That's important, remember. So you should have it written down, right? Okay, so which one is going to be closest, right? Hmm. Well, the middle one, that's way too small. Not going to be able to fit. This one will be nice. I have a lot of extra room, but I think I have a, something I need to use that for later on. So let me go with my 450 grams. It's a decent sized bowl. I'll have a little bit of extra room. Ugh, I forgot I wanted to add nuts, right? Nuts to ginger, really? Well, it's actually pretty good. So let's see how much room I have to know how many grams of nuts I can put in. What I'm going to do is we're going to subtract. So the bowl holds 450 grams and I already have 411 and 62 hundredths of a gram. So let's see, I need to find the difference. And oof, that looks like a rough number. Why is that so difficult? What do you think? Yep, I have all these zeros and I'm going to have to borrow, right? Because I can't just do nothing with them. I have to exchange them so I can have 10 hundredths so I can subtract two, right? You can't subtract two from zero. Hmm. All right. Do I remember a trick to make this a little bit easier, right? It's like, what's my understanding of numbers? Can that help me in solving this problem? Absolutely. So you guys have this written down. Did you solve it already? Do you need a hint? Let's try this. I know completely different number, but it's the concept we're looking at. So I made it really simple, okay? So we have 40 minus 36, and we have that dreaded zero, right, that we have to borrow from the four. Well, what we do in subtraction is we're looking for the difference, right? We're looking for the space in between the numbers. So if I have 40, and I need to see, well, what's the difference to 36? Well, I gave it really simple so you could see it easy, but if I, take one away from 40 and one away from 36, then you can see 39 minus 35. 9 minus 5 is 4. Uh-huh. My difference did not change, right? I just slid it back on the number line. So you could see that. So will this strategy help me with decimals? Absolutely we can do it. Let's get rid of this 50. Just, and you can think of it as money. I always refer to money when we're talking about decimals, even though we're talking about weight here. All right. So I have $50 and I take away a penny. Okay. Now if I take away a penny, then that leaves me with $49.99. All right. Now I can subtract, right? What? I forgot to do something. What did I forget to do? Oh, thanks. Like, that would have been a mistake. I need to make sure that difference stays the same. So if I take one away from the top, I have to take one away from the bottom. Okay, so I took a penny from the top, penny from the bottom, or one hundredth and one hundredth. Now I can just subtract down. So much easier. Do you have your answer yet? If not, pause and give me your answer. Okay, let's check. Nine minus one. Good. Nine minus six. Looks good. 9 minus 1 again. Mm. Yes, so far, so far. 
so far so good. And that's it. Oh, I went through pretty quick with that. Um, let's go back. All right, 38, 38. Love it. All right, so I can put 38 grams of um, nuts in there, and then my bowl will be full. So I hope you guys had fun. I hope you are doing a lot of baking yourselves. And yes, you can have these gingerbread cookies because I love to make things that I don't like to eat. And um, because I want to make sure other people are getting it. I hope you have a fabulous break and I will see you soon. Bye. I almost forgot. So bring in your paper with your work on it and you'll get your sticker and maybe something else. We'll see. It's a new year, right? Okay, guys. Bye.